hello everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and I make art videos and for today's video I'm going to be showing you all how I painted this painting of a cupcake now I originally filmed the drawing process for this piece but I accidentally deleted that footage which I was really annoyed about um, I tried to recover it but I wasn't able to so unfortunately I don't have any of the drawing footage. Well, I do have a little bit. I've got this one clip here, but there's not really much going on, so I'm sorry about that. But to make up for it, I did make a video earlier this week um, showing you all how to draw a cupcake, so hopefully that makes up for me, you know, not showing the drawing process for this piece. Um, so if you are following along to actually make your own painting of a cupcake, I do recommend watching the how to draw a cupcake video first and then you can watch this one uh, where I show you how I paint it so yes anyway um, keep watching if you want to know how to paint this piece and I will see you all at the end of the video first things first I spray my drawing with fixative and then for the background I'm using a mix of two colors titanium white and light blue permanent once I've got a colour I'm happy with, I then block in the background. For this piece, I also paint the sides as well. If the canvas is showing through a little bit, it's always a good idea to paint a second layer. For the base of the cupcake, I'm using a mix of four different colours, titanium white, cadmium yellow medium hue, yellow oxide, and burnt sienna. To start with, I'm painting the base of the cupcake and I go on with the kind of mid color and I just block that entire area in. So the part that is the cupcake and then the paper that is surrounding the cupcake um, the cupcake kind of shows through that area. It's a very similar color So I kind of just go into the shadowy areas and block in that color Once I've blocked in the first layer I then go in with a slightly darker color and add in the shadows under the icing as well as adding motley bits, just little dots here and there that kind of make up the texture of the cupcake. Then we go in with a lighter color, just adding some highlights here and there. And again, on the cupcake, you wanna kind of dab it in areas to give that cupcake texture. And I also use the same color on the paper bit that is attached to the cupcake wall that the cupcake is in, um, we kind of use that as the highlight colour. And when you're blending colours in acrylic paint, I think it's helpful to use two different paint brushes, one with either colour on it and then that way you're not kind of mixing up the colour on one paintbrush and it makes it a bit easier to blend those colours together. Next, I'm using some burnt umber to add some more shadow underneath the icing and this is the part where I forgot to um, refocus my camera. So this clip right here is a bit blurry. Um, that's what happens when you don't have an autofocus camera, which I do like having a camera that's not autofocus because then I just set it to the canvas and it's good. But in this scenario, it's not so good. With a very light cream colour, I then go in and outline the kind of squiggle part of the um, 
cupcake paper. I don't know what that's called. Um, and this kind of just tidies up that area. Um, I also go in and kind of add that same color down the highlighted areas of that paper bit, if that makes sense. And I also decided to also outline the paper area. Now it's time to paint the icing, which personally I find the most fun to do. And again, we're going to be using similar techniques. So I'm going to be using uh, about three different shades. I'm using a very light cream color, a slightly darker cream color, and then um, a light brown color. And we want to use a mix of um, those three colors. If you're doing a different colored icing, then you will obviously use those colors, but you want those three different shades. and. I try to just blend those in as much as possible. So I put the um, kind of mid color where the shadows are on the icing, the lightest color on the lightest areas, and then I use the kind of slightly darker brown for the creases. Um, and then I just blend those together. I try to make them look really smooth as well because it is icing. And yeah, that's basically how I do that part. Sorry if that doesn't make sense. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully um, watching me do this makes a bit more sense. The color that I'm using for the icing's creases, I'm also using to outline the icing. Um, this is just a personal preference. You definitely don't have to do this. Um, that's just kind of part of my style. I do like outlining things, so I did that. I also use that same color for the shadows for the decoration. So depending on what decorations you're putting on, um, you might want to add a bit of shadow. So I just use that same color. Then it is time to go in with the decorations. For mine, I'm just doing basically splotches of color. I'm not really doing any shading for them as well. And I decided to use most of the colors that are in the reference image, but I also added a pink color as well. You could basically do whatever colors you wanted to. You could do a different color variation. Um, you might even have different decorations on your cupcakes. So yeah, just do what you think works best for what you're doing. And I couldn't help myself, I had to add some gold glitter acrylic paint. I just used it straight from the bottle and I just add a couple of small little bits um, kind of highlighting the cupcake and then that is basically it.
that is all from me today. Hopefully you found this video interesting and helpful. If you did follow along, I would love to see your cupcake painting. So please share it with me over on Instagram or Twitter. Here is my painting for a uh, size comparison. I will show you a better um, photo of it shortly. Um, but yeah, that is all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.